Your Filipino accent is so sexy. Sexy, huh? Apple. Orange. Violet. Fried chicken. Pizza pie. Square. Rectangle. W. <laughs> that was quite funny, right, teachers? Well, just to let you know, I am so proud to be a Filipino. I'm so proud that we know two languages and we're actually fluent at both. We're fluent in the Filipino language and, of course, the English language. However, the downside of this is what we call the first language influence. It's how our first language, may it be Tagalog, Bisaya, Ilocano, influences our second language, which is English. It affects our accent, our grammar, it affects our causes Filipinisms, and, of course, it affects our pronunciation. So, for today's video, I will be sharing with you the common mispronounced words of ESL teachers. And all the words that I'll be sharing with you are the most common words that we use inside our ESL classrooms. Now, let me just give you a disclaimer, teachers. I have nothing against our previous teachers, our parents, the Filipino accent. It's just that as an ESL teacher, it's important that we do our best to neutralize our accent and ensure that we pronounce words correctly because it will affect the learning of our students. So, let's get started, shall we? Let's talk about colors. And let's actually focus on the word color. Most of the time, we Filipinos say it as color. 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 Color yellow, color black. But the proper pronunciation of it is color. Color. You see the first and the second syllable? There's an inverted letter E on it. That's a schwa. And that's one of the most common sounds in the English language. It's produced by doing this one. Uh, uh, without moving your tongue, your jaw, nothing. Uh, uh, that's the schwa. Color, color, you see? Number two, black, black. Uh, try to smile as you say the ah uh, sound, black, black. Not block, not black, black. Number three, orange, not orange, <laughs> not orange, but orange, orange. There's another schwa there, orange, orange. Number four, violet, violet. We have two schwas again, violet violet you see it's just smooth not violet not violet violet number five brown brown try to open your mouth a little bit wider instead of saying brown okay brown <laughs> brown <laughs> so let's not say that okay next uh, number six yellow yellow hindi yellow <laughs> not yellow or yellow yellow it's yellow 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 and finally number seven it's a short i i i pink not pink but pink and one reminder teacher this is a common philippinism whenever we say colors or whenever we teach them what we say would be color red color purple color violet the use of color before the actual color is actually a philippinism it's wrong it's grammatically incorrect instead of saying color yellow just say yellow it's yellow it's red it's blue it's violet Next up, let's talk about shapes. We Filipinos say number one as rectangle, rectangle. It's rectangle, 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 rectangle. <laughs> and the next one, number two, triangle. Not triangle, triangle. It's triangle. That's another schwa, gul, gul, triangle, triangle. Number three, square. Not square. Hindi square. <laughs> it's square. A eh, square. Number four, it's a circle. Not circle. Circle mga circle. Two schwas. Circle. Circle. And finally, number five, it's not oval. It's oval. Oval. The shape is oval. Now let's talk about animals. One of the most common topics in ESL when we are teaching children, EFK, English for Kids, would be animals. And it's very important that we get to say it correctly because these are the same things that our students would say, right? <laughs> so the first one is the national animal of China. It's not panda, panda, it's panda. Again, eh, as you say the ah eh sound, try to smile a little bit. Eh, panda, panda. Next, number two. Chicken, chicken. We have a schwa on the second syllable, chicken, not chicken. It's a chicken, chicken. 
Number three, it's not turtle. Oh, there's a turtle over there. A turtle over there. <laughs> it's turtle. Turtle. You see, guys, um, the last syllable sounds like a soft D. Turtle. Turtle. Not turtle, but turtle. The letter T sound, the T sound, becomes a soft D sound. Next one is rabbit. 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 We have an A sound and an I, I sound, the short I sound. Rabbit. Not rabbit. It's a rabbit. No. Number five, meow, cat. Smile a little bit when you say eh, cat. Number six, dog. See how I drop my jaw? Ah, dog, dog. It's a dog, <laughs> dog. Number seven, it's a silent B, teachers. We don't say lamb. It's a lamb, lamb, lamb. And number eight, it's not a lion. There's a lion over there. <laughs> It's lion. There's a schwa on the second syllable, lion. And now let's talk about fruits. Number one, watermelon. Watermelon. You see the ter on water instead of watermelon. It becomes a soft D again because when the letter T is between two vowel sounds, it sounds like a soft D sound. Water. Watermelon. Watermelon. Number two, it's not mango. <laughs> mango. It's a mango, mango, a mango. Number three, banana, <laughs> banana, banana. You see, there's lots of there are lots of schwas over there. Banana, banana. Except the second syllable, the second syllable is an a eh sound. Banana, banana. Number four, it's not apple. It's not apple. It's an apple, apple, apple. Number five, not orange, but orange, orange. Orange. And finally, for part one, let's talk about things for school. <laughs> Number one is a pencil. Pencil, not pencil. 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 Another schwa on the second syllable. Number two, we have scissors. It's not scissors, but it's scissors. Scissors. Number three, we have bag. Bag. Eh, eh bag try to smile a little bit more and number four it's not book uh -uh -uh. two letter o's it's not an oo sound but it's a softer oo book book look cook book there you have it teachers please take note that there are two parts for efk english for kids when it comes to the most commonly pronounced words we will be having two videos for this and i hope you learned something from this video because the goal of this video presentation is to help you become better teachers it's of course a must for us to get to pronounce the words correctly so that when we teach them to our chinese students or to whoever our students are they'd be able to learn the right way they'd be able to learn how to say it the correct way so i hope you learned something from this video if if you like it don't forget to watch part two give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions or clarifications subscribe to my channel teach you karen and click the bell icon to get notified for new videos thank you so much for watching and be a blessing to the people around you goodbye